Tom, I'm standing here with flawless skin next to the shedding, crumbling, dusty, ancient relics of white people my age. <laughs> Today we're here with an extremely special Try Not To Laugh challenge you guys have sent to me of none other than Trisha Takanawa herself. Let's do this. So it's weird being Japanese. Last night, my husband wanted 69. I said, why do you want beef and broccoli now? Is that? Hey, that's Chinese. I don't get it. I don't get it. Is that a Tom, I'm standing here outside a Spooner Street home where a local business owner has apparently eaten himself into his own food truck. Oh. oh. It appears they've finally removed the roof. Nobody look. This is a private gross matter. Uh, Mr. Griffin, is this uh, performance art or uh, some sort of political statement? Well, I'm kind of ticked about condoms and porn, but this is unrelated. What Tom, the I'm standing in the bedroom of Judy and Glenn Isaacs, ten years married and still in love. What's their secret? Judy has an inoperable brain tumor the size of my fist, and that just happens to be Glenn's fetish. Oh, oh. Brian. Trisha. Thank you, Diane. So, Mrs. Griffin, what's it like being the woman behind the man? Well, you know, when Peter first said we were our own country, I was a bit skeptical, but then I thought, hey, I could be like Hillary Clinton. <laughs> Only, you know, without the penis. Tell us a little bit about your country. Well, we're a clean, industrious people, mostly white. My son what? Chris is in charge of our space program. We hope to get to the moon program? very shortly. Almost. <laughs> oh. Oh. Ow. Oh. They should really use monkeys for this. And you should use a And parachute. little Stewie here is our president of poopy. <laughs> So where is the president now? Oh, he's out on a goodwill mission to America. Let's go to Asian reporter Trisha Takanawa, who's going to tell us all about the rain. Racist! Tom, <laughs> residents all over Quahog have been affected by the heavy rains, although some are doing their best to ride it out. For example, I'm here with Rides a 10 Speed Everywhere guy. Sir, why are you riding your 10-speed in the rain? I don't mind. A little drizzle never hurt anybody. Uh, I like riding the 10-speed because it's fun, uh, it gives me energy, and it's a great way to stay in shape. How long have you lived in Quahog? Well, I used to live in the city, but I decided moving here would be a little more relaxing, a little more manageable, and it's a great way to stay in shape. What do you do for a living? I work in accounts receivable at Quahog Insurance. Uh, it's not too demanding, the pay is good, and it's a great way to stay in shape. Well, we should wrap this up. You're getting wet. Well, I'm living life before the cancer I have kills me, so uh, I don't mind the rain. Water feels good on my skin. It's cool, refreshing, and it's a great way to stay in shape. What kind of cancer? It's rectal cancer. It's slowly eating away at my lower insides. Uh, it's a quick process, both painful and untreatable, and it's a great way to stay in shape. Sir, there's a reporter here to see you. Is it Kermit the Frog when he's wearing a trench coat? That tells you he's a reporter. What? Oh. Oh. Oh, her face is bad. Oh, I don't know what that song is. What are they doing? Was it from Friends? Is Will Smith Trisha? singing this? Diane, behind me are 1,000 beautiful doves. Gently tied to each of their delicate legs is a parade theme suggested by ordinary citizens of Quahog. And here to pick this year's winning theme is Ten Commandments star Charlton Heston. Let my pigeons go. Oh. <laughs> We have our theme. Shit. I'm standing here with Mayor Adam West with the latest information about the disappearance of young Scotty Jennings. What can you tell us, Mr. Mayor? Please, Mr. Mayor is my father. Call me John Mayor. Your body is a wonderland, by the way. What is the city doing to help rescue the missing boy? Well, we're looking for this child using all the latest technology, including the newest, most advanced multimedia milk cartons. Diana Quahog's fabled alabaster clam is about to descend and usher in a new millennium. Oh, they got usher in this? This is Trisha Takanawa reporting live where police have discovered the whereabouts of Seabreeze, the heiress to the pewter Schmidt fortune. The dog napper has been traced to the sleazy motel. Dog napper? Ah, I see my colleague Tom Tucker is already on the scene. Who's oh, that, baby? Shit. <clears throat> Hello, this is Tom Tucker. Z evil twin Todd Tucker out to destroy his brother's reputation. Ha ha ha! 
Now I'm going back inside to have freaky... Outside this maximum security facility where a ruthless thug has engineered a daring escape. Sir, do you have any plans now that you're out of jail? Yeah, I'm gonna go bang my girlfriend, and then I'm gonna kill Chris Griffin! Oh. Good lord! Mayor West, what do you plan to do if you win the lottery? Well, I'd finally splurge and buy myself one of those fancy four-piece suits. I'd like to join your country club. I assume that won't be a problem. And how about you, every Persian guy in the world? White BMW! So... So... Peter, what? are you sure you heard Mr. Pewterschmidt correctly? He actually said he wanted cheap, toxic materials inserted into the brewery supply stream? Well, his eyes looked different how he said it, but that was the gist. Also, some of the brewery workers say very hurtful things if a co-worker wears shorts. Follow the money. Mr. Griffin, it sounds like you've brought me an interesting story. What should I do with it, Ollie? Make it news! Oh! Uh, you got a standing desk, too? Sitting's bad! I know. They don't want to hear it, though. Oh. Thank you, Diane. Sex. Some people have it anonymously. What kind of person would do that, you might ask? Well, I'm about to find out. I just picked up a complete stranger in a hotel bar, and he's in the bathroom right now, possibly doing drugs. Oh. Watch as I have sex with this potentially dangerous man as we take you in-depth and undercover. Yeah, I've never had a Spanish chick before. Oh. Ole. No way. Thanks, Tom. I'm here on Spooner Street yeah, where yeah. several Quahog families are holding a car wash what to raise it? money for an organ transplant for young Paul what Lewis. Said, oh, so what do you call this device, Paul? It's an iron lung. It keeps me from dying. I want to play baseball! And with me is one of Paul's classmates, Chris Griffin, who helped organize this charity event. You're a very Olay. thoughtful young man, Chris. C can I say hello to my mom? Sure. Hi, Mom! Hi, sweetheart! Joyce, I'm standing here on the streets of Quahog, where citizens are feeling the effects of the city's new drinking law. I was going to bone my girlfriend, but she told me that if there wasn't vanilla vodka involved, there was no way. Did he say oh, vanilla vodka? I think vodka? we just have to trust our elected officials. And Goldman's pharmacy is fully stocked on cough syrup, isn't which it, goes great with ginger ale. Isn't right. Goldman? Tom, I'm standing uh, here with Stephen Hawking, the first white man I've ever met who knows math better than me. Mr. Hawking, what does the discovery of this black hole mean to you and your research? I am overjoyed. This is the crowning achievement of my career. Crowning it achievement. validates the work of a lifetime. Yep, validates it certainly does. Lifetime. Back to you, Tom. Push him off the All cliff. Right, we're clear. I'm telling you, man, this shtick is getting so oh. old. That chair smells, dude. Hey, Steve, surf's up. All right, see ya, bitch. Is Quahog in the grip of a serial arsonist? Police say no, but our producer says yes. Here's an artist's depiction of what the arsonist might look like. Anyone with information oh. regarding the suspect should contact... They got bigger roaches than I used to have. And I used to live in the projects where project roaches all can fly. I stepped on one of them, went and got toilet paper, came back, and there was a bloody trail of roach innards leading into a wall. That's some shit out of a horror movie, yo! Quahog police immediately. One oh. thing is certain, the pain here is palpable. For many, this charred portrait of Elizabeth II gives poignant new meaning to the phrase, Hey, check out that flaming queen. Here what? with more details on the snowstorm is queen. Asian correspondent Trisha Nakahoma. That's wrong. That's wrong. She You're not Nakahoma? doing good so far. I'm standing here surrounded by snowdrifts, stalled cars, and the one douchebag who wears a tank top every time there's a blizzard. Eskimo yeah, Bill, this bitch. is nothing. Guy at work drank a quart of motor oil once and didn't even die from it. What? Put that on the news, but you won't. A quart of motor oil? They buy a thong from out of <laughs> vending machine? No! Bill too crinkly! Try again! What type of nasty shit? Feel too crinkly. You tell the funny. What do we do with the draw? This must be so difficult for you. It is. There's a what lot of we, choices here. What are we using for? You. I thought you were supposed to be doing a news story on Carter, not shacking up with him. By no the underwear, truth is, bitch. All I ever wanted was to someday have a family of my own. And I realized Carter could give me all of that. Mother a family all your own? Yes, a family just like this, in fact, with a fine son just like you, Peter. Is that a son to whom I could one day give machine? a piece of sour plum candy. 
Thank you, Mama Trisha. So we but just the lazy push son past who does not make we... me proud? Peter, that son deserves no candy. No candy. So we're not going to talk about the underwear and the vending I swear, machine, Mama right? Trisha, I'm going to make you the proudest tiger mom of all. Oh, shit, bitches. They shooting. They shooting. They shooting. We shooting? Uh, 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 uh. Oh, that's racist. It's extremely Tom, racist. I'm standing here outside of Quahog's new cat cafe. Local resident Brian Griffin has described the cafe as a threat to public health. Cat cafe? Right, and since I'm on local TV, I'm going to talk a little too loud, and then occasionally I'm going to turn away from the microphone to point at things off camera, so my overall point is lost. Powerful yeah. claim. Powerful. Thank you, Brian. Powerful. Thank you, I'm Brian. I'm here with Peter Griffin, the yep. man who claims he withstood a barrage of bullets and did not die. Peter, are you saying that if I shoot you in the head with this Channel 5 pistol, Channel 5 you'll be pistol. completely unarmed? Ah! Why don't you uh, give it a shot? No, don't give me a shot. <laughs> okay, here goes. Oh, my God! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, what have I done? <laughs> oh, you're awful. <laughs> Thank you. Tell us about the Renaissance Fair. Yea, but first, Bride of Genghis, thou must explain us to me thy very peculiar electronic wand. Ooh! Well, the stuff's already <laughs> in her drink. Ooh! Ah. Oh! Is it Bill Cosby drink? Bill Cosby! Promethazine! Oh, my treasure! What's in the drink? No! Oh! Ah! Ah! And again, he said, Ah! Where'd you get this? Ah! Oh, I see the ah! You're a weird guy, Griffin. Eh, I don't know. Professional Ninja Jerry Nelson, how did you find your silver scroll? Well, I was That's at home good. nursing this throwing star wound. My wife Janie gives me a beer and bam, there it was. Oh, honey, I'm sorry. You know you can't sneak up on me like that. That's right, Tom. Some lucky hideous woman will be transformed by our makeover magicians into someone of value to society. Meg, that's it. You could get a makeover. Oh, that'd be just the thing to boost your confidence. Miss Takanawa! Miss Takanawa! Yep. Over here! Oh, my daughter needs a makeover like there's no freaking tomorrow. Ugly as hell. Oh! oh. 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 It looks like we've got a winner, Tom. So... The story on everyone's mind continues to be the absence of police officers in Quahog. Sir, as a citizen, how has this affected you? The police are gone? Oh my god! We're finally safe! I'm standing outside the mayor's mansion, where, against the wishes of his attorneys, the mayor has agreed to an impromptu press conference. Mayor West! Mayor West! What do you know about the murder? Did you kill that man? Yes, I'll take a question from the reporter from the Quahog Elementary School Gazette. Timmy? Are you afraid of the dark? I thought we had an understanding that the dark was off limits. This press oh. conference is over. This is Trisha Takanawa with ah! the news. Ah! Now I will have my normal ah! news review from my ah! mom in her car. You're no good. You're no good on news. You're stiff like watching board. Joe London mother so happy. Trisha Takanawa mother so sad. So well, what do you think, Diane? Mm. Can I cook or what? I'm delicious, Tom. I guess we should be eating her with chopsticks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. They're... Eating Asian reporter Trisha Takanawa. That's crazy. It's just gonna be hungry again in an hour. Asian flu correspondent Trisha Takanawa. Trisha? Diane, I'm <laughs> here at the Quahog Civic Center, awash in a pool of prepubescent sexual moisture. <laughs> we love you, Justin! Oh, he fucking? 
Oh, shit! Chris, I'm lying here listening to you toss and turn and wondering if there's something you'd like to discuss. I don't know. Yeah, take it's off just, your bra! It's been so hard since Mom and Dad died and Joe moved in with all his big band records. Show your pussy, bitch! Joe! Chris, I'm lying here asking you to kick Joe out of the house. What? He was my dad's best friend for 20 years. I can't do that. Chris, I offer you a choice. <laughs> <Luckily, laughs> <I'm laughs> For me, every day is a pain. <laughs> Can we please stop this? This is Trisha Takanawa. I am standing outside Quahog Hospital, where accused kidnappers Lois and Peter Griffin have just arrived. Also arriving is my overprotective boyfriend, who is suspicious whenever I am called into work at night, even though I've been a reporter for years, Tyrone. I thought I told you to mention my painting business. Diane, I'm standing outside the Park Barrington Hotel because they don't allow Asians inside. Fancy place. Boy, that'd make some second honeymoon, huh? The Park Barrington is already attracting some big names, such as Christianity enthusiast Mel Gibson, who has his own room on permanent reserve. A room which he barely uses. Barely uses, huh? Fresh attack an hour. What are you doing here? Peter, I'm standing here on your front porch hoping to kill that dolphin with this harpoon. Japan! They kill things that we like! What, is she hungry? Is that racist? So... Trisha Takanawa, 88! Peter, I'm standing here because I am the only Asian recurring character on the series. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, shit. They got me get him. Sweep the leg. Sweep the leg, Scotty. Sweep the leg. Oh, really? Is this nigga using his feet power. Yeah, dog, that shit like the Matrix. Damn, bitch. Oh. oh my god. Damn, bitch. Damn, bitch. Peter, you can tell I'm different because my weapon is different. Oh, well then maybe I won't be able to chop your head off. Oh, yep. I had a great day with the fat son. He started to respond positively to the caning of his buttocks and knuckles. Speaking of buttocks and knuckles, let's fool around. Mmm, sounds good. I wonder if I can tell you one of my deepest sexual fantasies. Please right, don't. Let me just burp through my nose for a second. I've been drinking seltzer. <sighs> okay, what do you got? Well, you're going to think this is silly, but I love it when a man confesses to manufacturing improprieties. Oh, yeah? Well, then you're gonna love this. I ordered the brewery to start making beer cans out of toxic, unsafe metal just to save a few bucks. Exactly what I wanted to hear. Thank you, Carter. And Never tell a woman your secrets until after you've had sex with her at least ten times. There you have it, Channel 5 News audience. This has been Trisha Takanawa with my undercover expose of Pawtucket Patriot Brewery. Up next is Papa John dyeing his eyebrows. I sleep with him to find out, though I'm fairly confident the answer is yes. With details, we now go live to Indian reporter Trisha Dasgupta. Oh my golly, there is much commotion. Thank you, Trisha. Now let's go to Asian reporter Trisha Takanawa so we can be shocked at how well her people age. Trisha?
Tom, I'm standing here with flawless skin next to the shedding, crumbling, dusty, ancient relics of white people my age. Ah! 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 Finally, I want you to meet Trisha Takanawa. Hello, everyone. So happy you came. Yep, food's on the table. And if anyone needs some dirty underpants, the vending machine's right over there. How nice. Right where my mother's china cabinet used to be. Tom, I'm standing here at Boston's Logan Airport, where some of the same security people who let the terrorists on the plane are still gainfully employed. With such low fares, even those who never fly are lining up to buy tickets. Early reports suggest that this could be the most profitable day for airlines in the last two decades. I'm Trisha Takanawa. Back to you, Tom. Hi, Mom. Hi, Joe. Chris, uh. Meg, we're going home. Well, good. You were just slowing me down anyway. You, Asian lady, you're the new Lois. I will have one scoop of mint chocolate chip in a waffle cone. You're a practical, straightforward people. Apparently, we've lost Trisha. Mom, I'm standing here outside some public toilets where dads who are really hurting will be vomiting in front of their still developing children. The parade is tomorrow, but already the giant balloons are being inflated, including two newcomers this year Pepe the Alt-Right Frog and Hops the Dog, the beloved beer pitchman. Hello, Mother. I'm so happy you could be here tonight. What happened? You know what for Channel 10? Just Channel 5. Only half as good. Mother, please. I I'm being honored tonight. What honor? Connie Chung, Mary Mori Povich, for media super team. Where your Povich? You have no Povich. Oh, married life is pretty good. No, still no kids, but I've been practicing a lot by myself. <laughs> Motherfucker. Masturbating, yes. Between you and me, I think Trisha might be barren. <laughs> Uh, Stewie, I'd better go. Trish is giving me that look. <laughs> okay, give my love to Brian and Meg, and hopefully we can come down there for the season finale. No? You're just not going to be a part of this at all? Okay, then. Bye, Stewie. Chris, I'm standing here in the living room because I need to talk to you about something very important. Look, we've been through this. It's my house, and I want to wear shoes in it. Chris, I offer you a choice. You can either continue wearing shoes in the house or continue having sex with this age-defying Eastern physique. <laughs> I'm standing here for some reason doing the weather in a giant black man's body. What kind of a Friday is this? Freaky! Back to you, Tom. <laughs> Live to Asian Freaky. correspondent Trisha Takanawa. Oh, meth is fine. Everything's fine. Go back to your own business. Thanks, Trisha. Oh, meth. She's doing fun things meth. For, I knew it. for money. Diane, I'm hearing. Thank you, Trisha. Stay tuned for further... Ah! Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Here's your boy Blasphemous HD. Twisms.